The drawing we're going to do today is the key plate. Now the way you start this one is we need to find the center for these three or four circles here. And I like to do that by finding a box that's centered on my paper. And it's five by two and a half. So let's first start by finding the center of our title block. Flip our T-square upside down. Draw our little X marks the spot. I'm going to draw my horizontal and vertical center lines. There's that one. My horizontal. I'm going to put my vertical in. Just remember, as light as possible. Now looking back at this, it's five inches between these two. So we're going to go two and a half to the left and two and a half to the right. So I'm going to measure right along my center line. Two and a half. And two and a half. Use my triangle to extend those lines up again, nice and light construction lines. Now it's two and a half tall, so that's one and one fourth up and down from the center line. So I'm going to go one and one fourth up and one and one fourth down. I got nice and light construction lines. Just like that. Now you can see the box right here. In each corner is the center of one of those circles. So in each corner it's the center of one of these circles and they have a diameter of three-fourths. Take my circle template find three-fourths, line up all the center marks, and draw my three-fourths inch diameter circles. Taking my time, making sure I have all the center lines lined up. Now what I need to do is find the perimeter around the outside. Now the first thing you're going to do and the easiest way is to put in these curved fillet sections in the corners. It has a radius of one. So you can either do this with your compass or you can do it with your circle template. I'm going to use my circle template. Now it has a radius of one. So that means if I'm using my circle temple, I have to use diameter. So I'm going to do 1 plus 1, double the radius to get the diameter, and that gives me 2. Now, I extended my construction lines way out so I know where to go. I know I'm just going to go right here and do my quarter arc. If you don't have that, you have to extend your lines out really big so you can see where they intersect your circle template. So there's that one. Make sure I really line it up. It's really important on these larger circles that you get them on there correctly. Another corner. And the last one. Now I have all the arcs in the corners. I can use my triangle doesn't matter which one, my triangle and T-square combo. And I'm just going to connect them with vertical lines. And then I'm going to connect them across the top and bottom. Just like that. Now what I like to do is, we're going to work on the center part, but where do we start? I like to start right here with this big circle, and I'm going to draw it in using my compass. And what it tells us is it has a diameter of 3. And if we're going to use the compass, we need to know what the radius is, and that's half of the diameter, so that's one and a half. 
So to set your compass, you're gonna take your ruler, you're gonna put the needle right on zero. I'm gonna roll my compass out to one and a half or one and eight sixteenths. Put it right in the center of my drawing. And I'm just gonna do a nice light construction line because some of this will get erased. Just like that. Now what I like to do is I like to do this slot right here. And we need to find out where the center is. Well, it lines up with our horizontal center line and also lines up with the center lines of these circles on both sides. And we already know that information, so that's easy. And we need to know the diameter. It's 3 fourths. So we already have where it goes. It goes right here. See the center line and then my horizontal one? So the center is going to go right here. And I'm going to use my 3 fourths inch circle template because it gives us the diameter. So I'm going to line it up and I'm just going to draw half of it. Just like that. You see just half. I'm going to go over to the other side. Line it up. Again, we have our horizontal center line and this center line right here has construction lines and we just draw in half a circle. And I'm going to connect them. Now I'm going to be careful not to cross through the middle so, it gives, so I don't have to erase it. I'm just going to go right to the circle. Now, we're going to erase out this little part right here while we're right here, so we don't forget. The last step, before we darken everything, is we're going to draw these little keyways, they're called. Now, it tells us that it's 3 8 tall, 3 fourths wide. We're going to go to the top of our circle and we're going to measure up 3 eighths or 6 sixteenths. So 2, 4, 6. Make a little mark. So there's my mark right there. I'm going to take my T-square. I'm just going to put a nice light construction line. Now, the whole thing is 3 fourths. We're going to go half of that this way, half of that this way. Half of 3 fourths is 3 eighths. So I'm going to go 3 eighths this way, 3 eighths this way or 6 sixteenths each way. Mark it. Like that. There's my mark right there, right there. I'm going to bring these down. And right down to the circle. Nice and dark. And I'm going to darken in the line across the top. Now I know what I need to keep. And before I forget, I'm going to erase out the center. Now I'm going to repeat the same process down on the bottom. So I'm going to measure down from the circle, 3 eighths, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to draw that as a construction line. Now I could measure 3 eighths to the left, 3 eighths to the right, or I could just use my triangle and put it on the ones up above because they're the same. So I'm just going to use the ones from up above. Save me some measuring. Darken those lines in. Darken across. And erase out the circle in between. Now lastly, what I'm going to do is I need to darken this circle. So I'm going to put my compass back again right in the same spot. And I'm just going to come along here. And I'm just going to darken in between each thing. Change that construction line into an object line. Now that I'm done with my actual drawing, I want to double check to make sure I've darkened all my lines and I want to take a couple minutes and erase all my construction lines. And then I'm going to put in my 